Hi everyone, Anna here. Welcome to another travel vlog. This time I'm taking you with me around my hometown, Nesebo in Bulgaria, or Nesebor, as we say in Bulgarian, which is protected under UNESCO. Get ready for lots of history, gorgeous views, the relaxing sea, roses, and lots and lots of food. Right now, I am walking towards the old town and enjoying the beautiful weather and views on the way. The old and new part are connected by road, which didn't exist before as people had to use boats to access the old town. Here we see the famous windmill, a true symbol of the town. Many years ago, the windmill was used to grind wheat and other grains to produce flour and oil. Now it is simply a tourist attraction. Upon entering Old Nesiba, these magnificent fort walls can be seen. The town was founded in 3.5 BC and the main purpose of these walls was to protect it from invaders. Of course, these are only the remains of the original walls and before there used to be a big heavy door in between serving as a gate of entry to the town. You can imagine for yourself just how old everything you're seeing and about to see is. Fun fact, I used to be a volunteer tour guide in school, so I'm taking you on a tour around the town. We're starting off by admiring a traditional Bulgarian house with beautiful flowers and a spacious yard at the back. I'll tell you more about such houses later in the video. But first, let's admire this church, St. Stephen or Sveti Stefan, built in the 11th century. Next, we have another beautiful church, John Aliturgetus or Ioanna Aliturgetus. Built in the 14th century, it shows a typical ancient Greek architecture. Legend says the builder of this church was a poor man who fell in love with a girl from a rich family. As they couldn't be together, he built her shadow within these church walls, and when the girl died, he ended his life by jumping in the sea. No other builder has ever managed to finish the construction from where the original builder left it off and the church suffered through two earthquakes. After wandering around, I met up my childhood best friend and we really went on a quest to get fresh food. As if by unofficial but repeating tradition, we decided to have lunch at our usual spot by the sea. We ordered more food than we could eat, including fresh fish, salad, soft pita bread, homemade chips with or without feta cheese, as well as tarama, which is basically a local caviar delicacy. With full stomachs, we continued our walk in rather crazy heat. Getting a sunburn was all worth it all for this beautiful view. Old Captain's House or Kapitanska Sreshta. It is one of the most beautiful houses in town which also serves as a restaurant. Another gorgeous church from the 13th, 14th century, Christ Pantocrator or Christos Pantokrator. This is the most well-preserved church in town and you can see beautiful green mosaics designed by the Byzantines. Here is the biggest and oldest church in Nesiba, the old Metropolitan's Church, St. Sophia or Starata Metropolia, dating all the way back from 5th, 6th century. The floor of this church used to be fully covered in colorful mosaics. An interesting fact is that there is a marble block hidden inside the church engraved with the following. May my cry reach out to you. As promised, I'd now like to tell you more about traditional Bulgarian houses. The first floor is made of stone and it is where domestic animals as well as tools and some products used to be kept. The second floor is made with these specific wooden tiles and it is where the family slept. Notice how the first and second floor of the houses are connected by these tight, steady wooden bolts. Absolutely fascinating. During our walk, we also stopped by at the only active Orthodox church in town where you can still go in and light a candle for loved ones.
Next, we have another valuable architectural monument in town, the ancient amphitheater. In the past, the amphitheater was where local people gathered to discuss and resolve important issues. I may be biased, but Nesaba is a charming little town by the Black Sea with centuries of history that is really, really worth exploring. My luck with good weather ran out quite quickly, but there was something inspiring about walking in the stormy skies. Our walk finishes with a look around the old marina, surrounded by local fishing boats and sea taxis, taking you across to Sunny Beach and St. Vlas two towns near Nesiba. I'm going to finish this video with some footage filmed on my phone. I hope you can visit one day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more content. See you next time!